Hey guys, I'll try to make this quick. Somebody was asking about uh, cam locks, and these are the ones I usually get. These are uh, the three-quarter cam locks. Um, so even though you know they'll have a half-inch barb, it's still a three-quarter cam lock. So they're all going to interlock with each other. Like this one's half-inch female thread, but this is a three-quarter cam lock. So you can initially you know this one's got a three-quarter female you can put as long as it's got a three-quarter male thread you could put whatever barb on the end of this whether it's a quarter inch barb half inch barb three-quarter barb and they're all going to interlock with each other now the beautiful thing about these is you can put it like on the inlet and outlet of your pump and then like for instance uh this is the outlet of my pump right here So that's going to feed my uh, roof pump. So what I do is I plug this into my proportioner, set my dials, and then my pump's going to suck from whatever I connect this to. I can attach, you know, like when I'm doing sodium hydroxide or oxalic acid mixes, I'll plug this hose into it and then take this drop tube and drop it in, in a bucket of the solution I'm using. But most of the time, I just connect it to here because I'm drawing for my, you know, for a roof wash, for my proportioner. And it's a beautiful thing because then, like this one, I put a, it's got a half inch female thread. I put a half inch by a quarter inch barb, hook this up to my downstream injector. So, you know, it's it's just whatever you're trying to use and you can just quickly interchange them. It's That's what's cool about these things. But yeah, when you order them, like I said, if you get a half inch or three quarter male or female banjo, they're all going to be the same size and interlock with each other. Um, my buffer tank, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, you can't. It's got a two inch uh, cam lock on it. And then I barbed it, you know, I put a two inch barb by one and a half shank and put my one and a half inch feed line in. Um, you know, if you don't plumb your hose through your reel, you can put one of these on the end, on each end, and on the outlet of your pump, you know, like I have. I have it going through my reel, so it's a little different, but say you had a male plug on the, like, on the outlet of your pump, you can plug it right into this, and then it'll go through your hose. So, it's just good to interlock. They have, here's one for garden hose. Um, this one's got a garden hose thread on it, but it will still interlock with the other ones because they're all the same size. That O, I think it's the 075 size. So it's, if you got a three quarter cam lock, it'll interlock with a half inch threaded cam lock or a quarter inch threaded cam lock. And then you have, you know, the bigger sizes, which um, these are the 100. And that stands for one inch. And these ones are three quarter size. For soft washing, you're gonna use the three quarter size and either put a half inch or three quarter, or in some cases, like my downstreamer, one quarter. So that's how these work when you order them. Like I said, if you're using anything from a half inch to a three quarter, you're gonna to wanna to get the, the 75, uh, uh, tight so just pay attention to what thread size you're ordering if your hose is half inch you can get the half inch and put a half inch barb like I said sometimes I just get the three quarter one so I have so I could either put a three quarter barb in or a half inch barb or even a three quarter by quarter inch barb so hope that all makes sense um, they're pretty you know they're not they're not super expensive but you know they're like four bucks five bucks sometimes they're like six or seven eight on amazon but they're definitely worth it um i've had i haven't had one go out on me yet uh some people talk bad about them but they've been great for me um just a great way to you know like i said if you're not plumbing through your reel you can <clears throat> just pull your hose off and you know take 
banjos on the end of your hose and connect it to the end of your pump with a banjo lock real quick um, with the garden hose ones you can put one on the end of your garden hose and quick connect it to your um, Hudson you know you could do all kinds of things like I did with the end of my proportioner I set one up so I can interlock quickly change between a quarter inch line and my half inch uh, roof pump line so I hope that all makes sense um, they're pretty they're just a good tool to have in the arsenal I like using them uh, this pump from the power wash store has them that's the inlet so I can essentially these are a little different but essentially I can hook this up to the proportioner with a quick uh, lock so I can put it on the mail. I have the mail end on the end of my portion. I can put it right in there and then it would suck from that. And then I can put my, pull my hose off and connect this end there and I'm pumping through my hose. So you get the point of why they're so cool and efficient to have. So I hope that helps. Somebody was asking, hope that answered your question. Hope everybody's killing it.